Williams here again. We're going to show you like a what to do and what to not do video about the trumpet, the basics. So earlier we learned how to put our instrument together and we talked about putting the mouthpiece on, push and twist slightly. That way when you're playing, the mouthpiece doesn't fall out and hit the ground, as well as it doesn't get stuck. So many students love to do this. It makes a really cool sound. It's really bad for the instrument. I'm gonna do it a couple times so you can hear it. Cool, right? Bad, bad for the instrument. So make sure that if you do that, you can do it without the trumpet and still kind of have fun doing that. But I, I really uh, don't want you doing that because what happens is you start to flare out this piece of the lead pipe and the mouthpiece will get stuck a lot more often. Say your mouthpiece gets stuck. Oh, I know. Now, your parents are not instrument repair people. You are not an instrument repair person. And there are special tools for instruments to make sure that they continue to work and to take things out or fix dents or what all, all that stuff. If your mouthpiece gets stuck, do not do this. McGinnis, music store, my instrument has a stuck mouthpiece. Can you help me? Why, yes, we can, because we have a mouthpiece puller, a special tool to unstick any brass mouthpiece. So this tool is designed to give equal pressure to pull the mouthpiece out safely and not damage the instrument. So when you are if, when you have an issue with your instrument, don't be afraid to ask us for help, even if it's small. Uh, we just don't want you guys to ruin your instrument. I've seen people do the pliers and rip the entire lead pipe off the instrument. And it is really a lot more expensive to fix that than just get the mouthpiece out. So if any point that happens, we can help you get it unstuck. Um, and it's, it's not, not anything to be scared about. 